Hello, everyone, and welcome to Chapter Two Club, Smart Woman's Guide to Breakups and Everything After. Today, I'm here with Rosalind Sadaka, founder of the Child Centered Divorce Network, and we're going to be talking about mistakes you've regretted. Hello, Rosalind. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Let's jump right in. Mistakes you've regretted. Let's let's talk about it. Yes, we've all made mistakes we've regretted. It's especially a sensitive topic when we're parents of children of divorce. So whether it's, it's before or during the divorce or even long after the divorce, you may have made mistakes that you've learned since are not the best decisions. There may be behaviors you chose or, or, or actions that you took that you may be regretting now. And I want to, you to know that it's okay to have made mistakes, we all do it, and you're a role model for your children. So letting your children know that you made a mistake and apologizing for it really goes a long way to bonding your relationship with your children. So own any mistakes you make. I really suggest that you sit down eye level with your child and say, you know, Ma decided to do something last year or last week. And that was a mistake. I should have thought differently about it. And I'm really sorry that happened. I'm sorry for the consequences. I hope you'll forgive me. When your children understand that all people make mistakes and that acknowledging them is, is a healthy thing to do, it's more likely that they'll incorporate that into their own life. So have a heart to heart with your children, apologize for any behavior or statements you made that may have created pain in their lives. And, um, let them understand that that's a normal part of living and it gives them permission to do the same. So perhaps you didn't let them spend as much time with your co-parent as, as they would have liked. Perhaps you've been bad-mouthing their co-parent on the phone or to, to friends and family or in front of the kids and now you're realizing that that's not a smart move. Maybe you, you haven't been inviting your ex to parties and occasions in the family that they would be welcome to experience for holidays and birthdays, and you've decided to change that experience. Maybe you haven't encouraged the children to interact with their other set of grandparents, and now you realize that that's harmful for the kids and that they would do, do well to have more exposure to the other side of the family. All of those things can be changed and remedied because you're a role model for your kids and you want them to see that mistakes can be changed. So times change, people change, circumstances change, and it's healthy for children to realize that. It's never too late to reach out and make, make those apologies, and also to reach out for a professional help from a therapist or a divorce coach to guide you in undoing some situations that you are now regretting. Don't live with regrets. Instead, make the changes that are helpful and positive for you and your family. And if you want access to some divorce support in, in co-parenting successfully, I have a free ebook on my website, childcentereddivorce.com. And the ebook is Post-Divorce Parenting, Success Strategies for Getting It Right. Great. Thank you so much, Rosalind. These are great tips. And I hope our audience out there can appreciate these as well. And you can find out more information on our website at chapter2club.com. And we'll see you next time. Take care.